more powerful than a locomotive. Faster than a speeding bullet. <laughs> I've got you now! It's over. In that winged freak show. Up power. in the sky! It's DJ P Costume. What's up, Cos fans? Dan Petruccio here with DJP Costuming, aka Gotham Garment Supply, aka anything you know me by, but today we are going to be looking about how to line a Batman cowl so you don't have to slip your head in using like cowl lubricant or using anything messy or water, things that are not going to dry by the time you step out of the bathroom of the con in your Batman suit that you just got dressed in in the hot, stuffy bathroom. You're going to be able to put this thing on and walk out with pride because <laughs> you know how it gets at a con, guys. This is a method using a couple things that you could buy in Walmart. So first, you're going to want to buy a size extra large Russell brand Walmart compression shirt. Now, they sell them in the men's aisle, and I'm sure they sell them in the women's aisle as well, so you can get them in whatever kind of stretch mesh or whatever material you want. Basically, the idea is when urethane is new, it's got the sticky texture to it, or latex even, it's just sticky and you can't pull it on your head. It's, it's misery, it's horrible. What this does is it creates a barrier between you and your cowl that is slippery so that you can just slip your head and your cowl with ease. Now, I got a new cowl in the mail in a trade. This is an Iconic Effects Dawn of Justice um, Affleck cowl. Now, this Batfleck cowl is pretty cool. It was really nice, but I got it and I was not able to put it on. I just, as you can tell from the inside and how shiny that inside is, it wasn't gonna happen. Someone was like, throw it on, Dan. And I was like, hell no, I'm not ripping my hair out. What I did was I put inside of it the cowl lining, which is that compression shirt. So here's what you're gonna wanna do. First, you're going to want to take your T-shirt and you're going to want to cut it at the bottom, at the waistline. So not only do you have a nice finished edge at the bottom where that shirt ends for the look of the cowl when the lining inevitably falls out of the inside, see? It, this is an unfinished edge because this was a third, the third section in of the shirt, but you'd have a finished edge here because you're gonna put that cut edge facing this way on the outside of the cowl. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get a Loctite super glue gel. Now that gel is going to be used to glue this down. So you're gonna glue in sections. As you can see here, one piece of glue, two, three, four, five, and around the cowl. You're just gonna do it in little dots holding it against the cowl. Now, once that's secure, you let that dry about an hour, your cowl is gonna have a perfect lining. So first, cut, glue, wait, and you have your cowl done. All it's gonna take is you measuring the hole opening of the inside of your cowl. This was around 31 inches. So you're just gonna measure that and cut the shirt in strips to 31 inches and glue it in around the cowl. And now, I'm gonna get in my cowl. And it's just like that. You just tuck the inside in, and I'm in my cowl, and I'm Batman. So just like that, it's easy, it's simple, it's such an easy thing to do, and it just takes about like roughly 20 minutes. So guys, that's that, that's the tutorial, it's very simple. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and put a comment down below and tell me if you were able to do this or how you get your cowl on. I'd love to hear from you, talk soon.